Is there a green revolution in China? And if so, can it make a difference? Welcome to Stratfor, I'm Colin Chapman. Windmills are springing up across China as the world's biggest carbon dioxide emitter pledges greener growth. The world's third largest economy vows to make wind-generated power count for 8% of the country's total by 2020. Western journalists have recently been invited to visit companies investing in wind and solar power, and some have been hyping China's green credentials. And then China's President Hu Jintao addressed the United Nations recently, saying his country would notably reduce the growth of carbon emissions over the next decade. However, he gave no details, and critics point to China's massive consumption of coal in the drive for economic growth, as evidence that Hu's words and China's deeds may be two different things. The Shenhua Group accounts for one-fourth of the country's total coal production. We didn't cut back on production or raise the price during the financial crisis. In this way, we supported the country's macroeconomic control policies and helped to stabilize the market. Jennifer Richmond is director of China Intelligence at Stratfor. There really hasn't been a transformation per se. What we're looking at is a transformation in terminology. What China's focusing on now is called carbon intensity. But carbon intensity really just limits carbon emissions as a percentage of GDP. We have not seen any hard numbers come out of China. China still wants the burden of climate change to fall on Western countries and expects Western countries to support their climate policies with funds. Even those working in the new green industries point out that despite their ambitious start, it'll not make things radically different. The country is encouraging the use of new energy, and this is strategically moving in the right direction. But no matter what kind of new technology we are promoting, even if it is high-tech, we cannot all rush to do it. In other words, coal will remain a mainstay of China's power generation for some time to come.